Hey everybody, it's Tyler, and today we are going to look at the Teams function when you're working with scoreboards in Minecraft. This is really useful if you're on a PvP server and you want to play with your friends and set up teams if a map does not have that installed. And it's also useful if you're just running a survival world and you want to track some stats with your friends uh, in a team format. So this is from my first video, kind of the original scoreboard display, and we're going to set it up the same as last time, with scoreboard, objectives, add kills, total kill count, and kills. And check out my previous video if you want to see how to set this up. And then we also have our displays. So we're going to turn these on, uh, all the displays, and then you'll see that I now have my kill set up. Now, this is where the teams come in. To add a player to a team, you're going to want to do the scoreboard function, but then we're going to say teams. And there's a few functions under teams that we're going to talk about in these next few blocks. But for instance, in this, we are going to add team red. So we're going to do teams, add the name of the team in your internal kind of computer, as you've seen in the last video, and then the name that you want to be displayed. So we're going to say the red team, and then in the server, this isn't really seen, it's more for the server, it's going to be known as the red team for the red team, if that makes sense. Now we're also going to add the blue team for the blue team. So let's add both of those, and you'll see that those should add. Yeah, those should add. And then we have to add a player to a team. So there's three kind of things you can see here, and you may have been wondering what they are. But this is, these are basically used to target players in your server. And you can actually, uh, you can type this in a regular thing. So you can do slash say, um, at p is the best. So this is going to choose the player closest to you. And this is going to end up saying me because I am the only person on the server. So to add a player to a team, you want to do your scoreboard, your teams, and then join the team that is in the server. So we're going to say blue, and then the player. So this is going to join me to the blue team. So I'm on the blue team now. Now, you're going to see on the right over here that my name now turned blue. And that doesn't always happen. You're going to have to set that up, but we're going to look at that in the change color. Now, to delete a player from a team, you're going to want to do scoreboard, teams, leave, and then your function right here. And you can actually target... Uh, actual players in here so you could say me and then it's gonna delete me but if you're gonna do a map you're probably gonna want to do the closest player to the target uh, so at P is nearest at R is a random person and at A is to target so for example if you wanted to set up uh, just real quick as uh, an example if you wanted to set up kind of a randomizer for your command block you could do slash say um, at p and at p are the or not at p at r and at r are the team captains and then when we were to uh grab a button real quick that's going to take two random players and say that they are the captains that's really helpful for pvp math obviously it's going to say just me because i'm the only person in my single player world but that is one way that you can use the random function on here. And then at A is going to target all the players. So if you wanted to, for example, uh, say that give at A um, carrot. It's going to give everybody on the server a carrot. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I chose carrot there. But that's going to delete your player from your team. So I'm not on a team anymore. Let's join me back to the blue team. And then we're going to talk about how to change color. So this is kind of... These were you're setting up the teams, this is setting up the team, adding people to the team, deleting people from the team, and then this is options for the team. And these are the main two options that you're going to want to deal with, uh, color and then friendly fire. So color, you're basically going to choose option now in here instead of add or remove. And then you're going to do the name of the team, you're going to press color, type color, and then there's a list of colors that you can choose from uh, on the wiki. I'll include that right now. And you can see that there's a bunch of different colors you can choose from. Uh, but for our sake, since we are the blue team, let's make us blue. So then when we press that, it's going to make the team blue, as you can see on the right. Uh, and that works perfectly well. If we wanted to, we could say that um, red is the color red. And that if we wanted to add me to red, we can add me to red. I am now added to red, and then we can change the color, and that is red now. So you can kind of see how that works. Uh, you can easily set up your colors on your server. Now, for friendly fire, it's a, not very different at all. 
you have your slash scoreboard, and you could also just type scoreboard. I just like the slash because you have your teams, your option again, the team that you want, and then friendly fire, exactly how this is, no capital. And then if you want it, true or false. And basically what friendly fire is going to say is, if you're playing PvP and somebody on your own team were to shoot an arrow at you, it's not going to hurt you if friendly fire is turned uh, off. So it, this works for hitting people with swords, hitting people with bows and arrows, hitting people with uh, splash potions of harming. Uh, so you're going to probably want friendly fire turned off unless you are doing some odd PvP tournament. Uh, but that is basically how you were to do that. That is basically all the functions with uh, teams in the scoreboard. There are more complicated functions for scoreboards in the game. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will try my best to answer them. It is now raining. Uh, but please, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. That is the end of this video. If you liked it, then like it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.